Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And for those of you that are new here, hey, my name is Tenna and welcome back to my circus. In today's video, we are going to be going over the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. But first, if you are here to figure out who is the winner of the Jeffree Star Thursday palette, we are gonna go over that right now. Otherwise, if you don't care about this part, I'm actually going to leave the timestamp below for when we start going over the Urban Decay Born to Run palette that we don't have to sit through this introduction piece. Otherwise, let's go ahead and jump right on into it. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I don't know why you wouldn't, because it's free and we're kinda cool here. And look at me, I'm glowing. If you wanna learn how to glow, stay on this channel. Let's go ahead and hop on into it. All right, so for all of my giveaway contestants, can I first start off by saying I am so overwhelmed by the amount of participation I got in this giveaway. I had no idea how many people were actually going to subscribe and enter to win these things. Some of you guys said some of the nicest, nicest things to me and you guys were just like absolutely amazing. Like I cannot believe like how nice some of you guys were. At the end of the day, you know, some of you guys are probably here to stay, you know, because you like me and you like my channel and um, you know, some people may choose to leave because they may not have won something and that's really unfortunate, but honestly, that's okay. We're cool around here. I just wanna let you guys know that I will be doing plenty more giveaways in the future this is not going to be my only giveaway um, you know I definitely want to give back and I want to do some really cool giveaways so I'm not gonna be giving away like little rinky dink things that aren't worth it like I really want to give away some cool things that are really gonna make a difference for some people um, so without further ado um, I know that there was a lot of back and forth in my comments. I want to be very fair to everybody that entered in this and I know that part of the stipulations to enter this was that I needed you to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as follow me on my Instagram. Throughout this process I have realized that there are a ton of people that don't have Instagram and I'm not necessarily going to make you like start your own Instagram but just to enter my giveaway. I wanted everybody to be a part of it. So basically what happened is I've got my empty BoxyCharm box here full of all the names of all the people that entered and basically what I did was is that if you did not have an Instagram but you still subscribed to my channel, left a comment, stuff like that, I gave you one vote inside of this box. If you were able to subscribe to my YouTube channel and um, follow my Instagram page, I gave you two entries in here which means you have a greater chance of winning the Thirsty Palette. So I kind of wanted to do it this way. I feel like a lot of people do like giveaways and they never like show you like how they came up with like who the winner was going to be and things like that. And you know, it is what it is, but I just wanted to make it a little bit more fair and just kind of like make sure that you guys were kind of involved in the process and saw how I did it. I had well over 150 submissions for this and I think that's absolutely insane. So like I said, good luck to everybody. I really hope that whoever wins this ends up, you know, having having a ball with it so without further ado we are going to take this i'm going to shake it up i'm going to blindly reach in grab out a name all that good stuff so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna shake this up all right i'm going to take my hand i'm going to swirl around in here and then i'm going to pull out a name found a piece of paper the winner of the jeffree star thirsty palette is Morgan Duval. So I don't know if you can see the name on the piece of paper there. So Morgan, congratulations. You are the winner of my first ever giveaway. You will be receiving the Jeffree Star Cosmetics palette. Thank you to everybody that entered in this giveaway. I am so grateful for you guys for, you know, the really nice words that you guys had to say and, you know, wanting to stick around and things like that. And I'm really grateful for it. But like I said, please don't get down if you didn't win this one. I have plenty more giveaways coming up in the future. And I just, you know, I just don't take it hard. I know it sucks sometimes. It's like slim chances to get some of these things, but I promise I'll do more giveaways and I'll give everybody a chance to be able to win cool stuff on my page. Otherwise, that is it. Congratulations, Morgan. I hope that everybody still sticks around and doesn't, you know, unsubscribe because they didn't win. I'm sorry. Um, otherwise, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the actual tutorial that this video is supposed to be on. Let's go ahead and hop on in. Alright guys, so I went ahead and got my hands on the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. I am such a huge fan of Urban Decay in general. Um, Urban Decay is just like one of the first really big brands that I remember growing up when I really started getting into makeup. I just remember Urban Decay being like the end all be all as far as like the best eyeshadows, things like that. And like my first actual like high end palette 
was Urban Decay. It was like the really big clunky, I actually still have it, but remember their little storybook palettes that they um, used to make? I had like the first ever Alice in Wonderland one, um, and that was the first ever palette that I got from them. And then after that, it just turned into me getting all the naked palettes and all this stuff, and like I just have a ton of Urban Decay stuff, and I haven't actually purchased any Urban Decay eyeshadows in a really long time. I love Urban Decay, but like I feel like they went through a small, tiny little rut there where they were just kind of producing things that were a little bit lackluster to me. There was too many naked palettes going on, and then some of the schemes of the way they had things kind of like paired together were like just not appealing to me. But I saw this baby come through and I was like, sold. I need to have it. I need to have it. And I was actually really conflicted because I told myself I need to calm down. I need to stop spending so much damn money on makeup. And so I was either going to do this palette or I was going to do the Jaclyn Hill Vault. But as we saw, Jaclyn had to pull that thing back because her whole palette was busted the house. Any Rich Lux fans out there? So her little busted palette is not coming out and I was like, you know what, over it. I don't even want it anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and invest my coins into the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. I played with it inside of Ulta. So this is available online at Urban Decay. It's also available inside of Ulta and I was actually able to play with a display in there and I was just sold. Um, they swatch extremely well. They're extremely buttery, things like that. So I'm super excited about it. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and go through this palette. I'll swatch some of the colors for you. We'll do a little bit of an eye look, all that good stuff. I'll go over the price point, everything. and. Let's go ahead and start it. By the way, your girl is like extra glowy today because it's summertime and so I'm just like glowing all over. I got the highlight going, I got all the stuff going. If you're wondering what is on my body, it is the Sol de Janeiro Ipanema Sunset Glow Oil. The stuff is amazing, it smells good and just makes me feel like butter and it's not sticky like some other body glitter stuff that we know of. Not throwing names out there. So anyway, this guy retails for $49. This is basically what the unit carton looks like. It is a nice matte black and it has like the Urban Decay logo on there. And inside of it, there's a bunch of pictures, things like that, um, of just like pictures from around the world. If you turn it around on the back, um, it shows you kind of a little bit of all of the colors on there. And then it has, you know, a little bit of story behind this palette. And it basically says it's for the adventurer, the road warrior, or the weekend escapist, no matter where you're going or what you're getting into. Born to Run is the only palette you need to pack. So it has a bunch of colors in here that are basically inspired by all different types of locations, things like that. Um, this is actually really cute. If you open up the box, um, the artwork on the inside is kind of like a little map. So that's kind of cute. So if we go ahead and open this guy up. This is what it looks like. This is really cute. It is a hard case. Um, but if you look all over it, there are all these really beautiful pictures from like around the world. Just different places, there's San Francisco, you've got like Italy on here, um, you know, Las Vegas, France, all these different places. So this is actually, it's very heavy, feels very luxurious. I love me a heavy palette. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Yes, oh my God. So it has a nice giant mirror in it and here are all of the shadows. The shadows in here are absolutely beautiful and to die for. You can do a neutral eye look, you can do something colorful. Um, you can just do all different types of things with all of these colors and I'm really, really impressed with this layout. Um, it's the first time in a long time that Urban Decay has really put out some colors in a palette that just like screamed to me. And so basically what I wanted to do, I wanted to swatch a couple of the colors just for you guys. Um, they're insanely buttery. I, oh my god, they feel so soft. Um, swatch some of these dark ones for you and then I'll swatch a couple of these shimmers. You know, I'm not a huge fan of um, swatching uh, eyeshadows and things like that just because just I don't know it just I think the better test is how they work on the eye so basically I'm gonna take my hand here is the first one here I'm gonna swatch it here which is this nice orange color beautiful here's a brown one that I'm gonna put right next to it like as you can see they swatch extremely well here's a shimmer here and here is another like a golden shimmer look at that you guys, like these swatch insanely well. The shimmers are to die for. It is just not a typical Urban Decay, like, it, it, everything that they put as far as eyeshadow, like they can do no wrong with eyeshadows. Their eyeshadows are always to die for. They're beautiful. So I really wanna play with some of these. Um, you know, I'm probably gonna do more of like a neutral eye look. I feel like I've been so dead set on like playing with colors lately that like all I've been doing is colors. And I kinda wanna bring it back to a little bit of my neutrals. And I'll probably pop a little bit of color in there just to kinda play with some stuff. So let me go ahead and wipe this off of my hand and we'll go ahead and go into an eye look. I'm really excited about this palette because I definitely think it's a palette that you can use on all different types of skin tones. I definitely think that this palette will complement all different types of skin tones and I'm really excited for it. Let me go ahead and zoom in on my face and then we'll go ahead and jump into the eye look. 
All right, we are all nice and zoomed in on my face. So we can go ahead and continue with this. So I wanna go in with a nice a little um, transition shader, a nice little just pop of color. I actually really wanna go in to this color Baja right here. It's this bright orange kind of color. Um, I'm wearing red today, so I kinda wanna, you know, I don't wanna get too crazy. I don't wanna put on like crazy like green eyeshadow with like a red shirt be kind of weird. So I'm going to go ahead and take a brush. I'm going in with the Morphe M576 brush. I'm going to go ahead and take that and just dip right on into there. There's no fallout at all. Like none. No fallout. And then you get plenty of payoff on the brush. So I'm going to go ahead and take this. I'm going to go ahead and pop that right on into the crease. Seriously? Y'all see this pigment? Oh lord. So tread carefully with the with some of these shadows. So it blends out like a dream and they're insanely pigmented. I'm very impressed. Beautiful. Everything's all blended out and very, very nice. So next I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit more of a tapered blending brush. So I'm going to go in with a Morphe M330, which is this guy right here. I'm actually going to pop into this color right here. Good as gone. I'm going to take this and we're actually going to do a halo eye with it. Um, this one has a tiny bit of fallout. Nothing crazy though. Like nothing to like nothing shocking. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to go ahead and do a halo eye. So I'm going to put this into my crease and kind of on the inner corner and the outer corner of my eye, leaving the lid space in the middle there. Y'all, these colors are so damn pigmented. Oh my God. So next I'm taking a little bit more of that color Baja, that orange color, and I'm gonna take that and blend that a little bit around the edges of the brown here, just to kind of bring a little bit of that warmth back and just kind of diffuse the edges. These eyeshadows are extremely easy to work with. Like I'm so impressed. Like I, I'm barely even having to try to blend and these are just smoking out flawlessly. All right, next I'm going to take a little bit of concealer and a flat concealer brush um, just to kind of carve out the center there. You can use any concealer for this step. I'm actually going to go in with my MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the color Painterly. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that and just carve out the center portion of my eye. All right, next on the center of the eye, I'm gonna take a little bit of this color Ignite right here. Um, it's this very nice kind of like fiery shimmery orange color. I'm gonna go ahead and take a nice flat packing brush. I'm gonna see how this applies with just a brush and then if not, we might I'll go in and apply it wet. But I'm gonna go ahead and take my brush, go ahead and push into there. Just kind of really coat the brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and pack that onto the center of my lid. So it's definitely going on there. I definitely think that'll apply a bit better wet. So I'm gonna actually go in with this and I'm going to uh, um, wet it with a little bit of Fix Plus. I'm gonna take a little bit of that brown again and I'm just going to ever so lightly go along the edges here and just kind of diffuse these together because we don't want any harsh lines in our halo. And then I actually ever so carefully want to take a little bit of this color stranded right here on a tiny, tiny brush. And I kind of want to pack that like right in the middle of that orange. Just to add a little bit of a dimension. And then I'm going to take a little bit of this really dark color punk right here on a E17 Morphe brush. I'm just going to kind of dip into there and I'm going to pop that onto the outer corner just to deepen it up a little bit more. All right, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of that same color here and I'm gonna run that underneath my eye. <laughs> All right, let me go ahead and throw on some eyeliner and some lashes and I'll be right back. All right guys, that is it. That is the finished look. I added a little bit of NYX glitter to the crease there just to cut it a little bit more. Um, this is what it looks like. 
I feel like I need to find another replacement. I feel like this was a really, really good dupe for the Urban Decay um, Heavy Metal uh, Glitter Liners. However, I find that when I use these, they always kind of burn my skin and I don't know why. That's probably not a good thing and I should stop using them. However, if you don't have the same problem that I do, these are actually really, really good dupes for the Urban Decay ones. Um, and then I also went ahead and threw on some lipstick. I used a little bit of the ColourPop Cosmetics um, lip liner um, pencil in the color BFF3. And the lipstick that I'm wearing is in the shade Gimme a Kiss from Kylie Cosmetics from the Kris Jenner collection. So I went for this kind of like Moroccan desert kind of heat vibe because it's going to be hot as hell today again. So that's kind of what I went for. But yeah, you guys, final thoughts on this palette. Amazing. I think that it's so cool. Like. The colors in here are amazing. They blend to filth. I had really no issues with like any fallout, nothing crazy like that. They blended extremely well. Like these were so easy to work with. Um, I, you know, I'm kind of new to playing with like cut creases and halo eyes and things like that. And I find myself kind of having to like a hard time blending out some of these things. And these were so easy to work with. Like this was probably the easiest time I've ever had with creating a halo eye. And I thought that was really cool. Definitely, I'm very, very glad that I picked this up instead of um, the jacket vault that I was going to do. I do have the Jaclyn Hill palette and actually once I saw them all next to each other they all look the same and realistically if you look at this this has kind of got some of the same color schemes that the Jaclyn Hill vault collection has. Granted it's far more expensive however these shades are amazing and they just look really good. They blend to filth so yeah, I'm excited, you guys. This is awesome. I would definitely recommend picking this up. Um, I'll do more looks with this in the future using some of these um, like purples and greens and stuff like that in here. Um, I was really, really drawn to these greens and really wanted to play with them, but you know, I'm on my way out the door and I'm wearing red today and all these things. And I didn't want to have like green purple eyes with a red shirt. I don't know. I just wanted to go a little bit more, you know, neutral. Um, definitely not a natural look today. Definitely high glam, but you know what? I am here for it. I love it. Otherwise, you guys, that is it. Thank you for sticking around for this tutorial and this review on the palette. Definitely gets a two thumbs up for me, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!